From the Carly B TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office arrested a man Wednesday in connection to a string of burglaries. Jeremy Allen McLaurin is charged with two counts of second degree burglary, probation violation, and parole violation. Bibb deputies responded to the following burglaries. On November 24th, 2022, Stevens Fashions on Montpelier Avenue and on March 21st, 2023, Metro PCS on Mercer University Drive. Both businesses' front window was shattered and merchandise was stolen. McLaurin also faces pending charges in several other commercial burglary cases. If you looked around in the downtown Macon area, everything is pink. Why not start your Saturday morning off with some pink pancakes? The Macon Bib Fire Department is once again hosting the annual pink pancake breakfast. Enjoy all you can eat pancakes, sausage, bacon, coffee, and orange juice from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Tickets are $7 for adults and $3 for children three and under. Proceeds benefit American Cancer Society. This week is National Poison Prevention Week. Atrium Health Navicent Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital encourages the community to use this week as an opportunity to take note of potentially deadly household substances that could cause harm to children. The CDC says poisoning is the leading cause of unintentional injury-related deaths in the U.S. Household products such as cleaning agents, personal care, and topical products and pesticides are among the top 10 substances responsible for poisoning exposures annually. Any COVID-19 vaccine requirement by public schools, state agencies, or local governments would be blocked under legislation given final approval by the Georgia House. On Thursday, the House voted 99 to 69 in favor of Senate Bill 1, which would make permanent what had been a one-year ban enacted in 2022. The measure now goes to Governor Brian Kemp for his signature or veto. The Georgia Senate passed a budget on Thursday that cuts $87 million from teaching at the state's public universities, money connected to a dispute with the House over hospital permits and funding. The Senate agreed with Governor Brian Kemp's plan to pay full tuition for everyone receiving a HOPE scholarship to give all state employees and public school teachers $2,000 raises. In the Senate proposal, some state law enforcement officers will get $6,000 up from a $4,000 bump sought by the House. Senators voted 51 to 1 for House Bill 19. The Senate and House has until next Wednesday, the last day of the 2023 legislative session, to work out differences. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.